Hi, I'm Dylan Kaplun, and if you're like me, you're doing the responsible thing and wearing your mask in public. But this can create a problem known as mask knee. Yes, mask knee is real. Struggle is real. Especially if when you take off your mask, it looks like this. Ew, all that makeup. So I want to share with you a few tips to help you prevent mask knee. The first is to keep your beauty routine to a minimum. You want to wear sunscreen, SPF. Why? Because you want to avoid that demarcation between your forehead, what's exposed of your nose, and the rest of your face. So, wearing a mask with SPF underneath will at least help you with that. My second tip is to really, really wash your face as soon as you get back home. I know that we're all tired and anytime that we go out, we are prone to actually sweating and to keeping all those oils and everything inside the mask. So your skin is going to suffer. It's going to suffer from blood pores, bacteria growth, everything that helps acne. At a very minimum, use face wipes so that way at least you can cleanse your skin in a very easy way. Of course, it's always best to use a facial cleanser to get rid of all that filth. The next tip that I want to share with you is to actually wash your masks. Yes, I know that several of us are reusing our masks constantly. That's not the best option, especially since I already showed you what happens here. But this is what we're seeing. If you're not wearing any makeup, you're prone to just think that the mask is fine, but it's not. So even if you are wearing all these really cute and trendy reusable masks, you really need to wash them. As I read the other day, treat them like underwear. I know it's funny, but it's really not if you start thinking about all the bacteria that this little mask might be harboring. And of course, if you're able to, disposable is best if you want to keep bacteria growth at bay. But I know that's not realistic, especially since we don't want to keep using and hoarding PPE that our healthcare workers could be using. So my best advice, at the very least, disinfect, wash your masks every single day. And another alternative is to spray them with antibacterial or some kind of spray that at least will get rid of all that bacterial buildup so that way it's not sitting on top of your skin. And if you do get a breakout, you know what? The good news is that you can always cover it up with your mask. That's at least one advantage of being safe and protecting not only yourself, but protecting others. I hope these tips help you and that we can all have great and healthy skin despite wearing our mask because this is a way of showing how much you care about those around you and also keeping yourself safe. For more tips and information, remember to check out my blog, hispanicglobal.net. Till next time, and wear a mask! <laughs>